Hey, it's me, Tamisha, creator of this here fireside chat for global women because turning pain into power is sexy. And I'm here to talk about the power of attraction, the power of magnetism. I was in one of my favorite plant-based vegan places not too long ago. This was a couple of years ago, actually. And the owner was in the building. The name of this restaurant is called Tassili's. Um, they sell the best kale wraps you ever can put your mouth on, baby. Yes, they do. They are located in Atlanta, Georgia on Ralph David, Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard. If you are not from Atlanta and you come to Georgia, make sure you stop by Tassili's and tell her Tamisha Burgess sent you. So without further ado, let's get into this message. I was visiting Tassili's restaurant one day, getting me a kale wrap, and Tassili happened to be there. She's not always there. And she looked at me. She walked from the back of the restaurant. She looked at me and she said, you know, I mean, we've never spoken before. I've never actually seen her face to face before. It was the first time I've ever seen her. And she has just this very just beautiful magnetic energy about her, just this je ne sais quoi, right? And she, I'm at the front of the line, and I'm about to make my purchase and she looks at me. She was walking past at first. So she walked past and she went like, she went like that. And she says, you know, beauty is a power. Not everybody has. Make sure that you use it wisely. There is a lot that you're supposed to be doing with your beauty. Something to that effect. But I'll never forget that. And... <laughs> I've never really seen her again, except some of the festivals that she holds, um, the mystic festivals that she holds sometimes at the restaurant. But I've seen her, you know, far. She's speaking and she's chatting with people. So I never got to really tell her how that stuck with me all these years. And so I'm sharing this, ladies, those of you born biologically female, okay? This is Fireside Chats for Global Women. This is for those of you who, us, that are born biologically female. But ladies, I want to tell you that once you get on this journey of activating your superpower, you are activating your God power. You're activating your goddess power. You're activating the power of creation within yourself, which is very magnetic, which is very attractive. This is before I even knew this then. I was just on this journey of working on myself to activate your attraction, your magnetism, your God power, really. It's not about you aesthetically. It's about this energy and this power that is coming out of you, okay? But to activate this is to work on yourself, right? It's to do this inner shadow shadow work that I'm always talking about, that many of us talk about. It's taking that dark night of the soul journey within your mind, within your body, and finding out why the hell you're here, finding out why you were even born, other than your parents just having sex, Right? Many of us are here just because our parents did it. <laughs> but for those of you on this particular journey, those of you chosen ones, you are here for more reasons than just that. So once you do this inner work and you awaken this God power, this goddess power within yourself, which is the power of creation, which is creation juice, it's your sensuality, it's your sexuality, it's very important that you... Make sure that you develop your emotional intelligence synonymously with activating this power. As a matter of fact, this power is so intelligent, it won't even allow you to be able to tap into it unless you actually do the inner work on yourself. People who are trying to awaken this power within themselves without having done the work, they'll be causing themselves more harm than good. This power honestly has evolved itself and it's no longer allowing itself to be used and usurped and awaken the people who aren't ready for it. It won't even it won't even awaken. It will continue to lie dormant. So anyway, the power of attraction, ladies. And I, when I say attraction, I don't mean just aesthetically. I mean attraction is different from beauty, right? Attraction, I, you know, I love the way Tina Turner said it one time. She said, "I'm very attractive." I didn't she said, "I didn't say I'm beautiful." She said, "I'm very attractive." What makes me attractive is my talents. You know, what makes me attract, tr attractive is the fact that I know what my talents are and I use them. I bring them to the forefront and I operate in my power, in my talents, which makes me undeni undeniably attractive. And I think that is so powerful, spoken just like a divine feminine. Attraction, 
when you are attractive, you are meant to do things to not only help yourself, but the world around you. Your attraction is there as a power for you to be able to heal, not not kill, but heal. Your attraction is there as a tool, as a modality, as a tool for you to help uplift the vibrations around you. Um, your attraction is there to help other people be awakened and activated to who and what they are and their purpose and why they're here on this planet. So the power of attraction is to help awaken and arouse people in more ways than one. Arouse them mentally, arouse them physically, spiritually, physically too, arouse them energetically, arouse and awaken them to their power, to their purpose. This is the true power of attraction. I'll see you next time on Fireside Chats for Global Women. If you're not subscribed here, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button, like and share this video, comment below as well. If you haven't gotten your copy of Activate, Unorthodox Philosophies that Explore Anxiety, Depression, and Suicidal Thoughts as Symptoms of Suppressed Superpower, go ahead and click the link in the description below. It's my link tree link. It will guide you to um, my Patreon page. It'll guide you to my merch as well, and also a link to Amazon to get your copy of Activate in paperback or ebook. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.